I want to start off this tutorial with a few interesting little tips. We start with um, the brush size. If you on a Mac, if you hold down Control, Option, and Shift, and then click the mouse and drag left or right, you can change the brush size dynamically. You get this red circle to indicate the size of the brush, and you can just drag it out. And if you hold down the Control, Option, and Command keys and click and drag, you can control the hardness of the brush. So if I need a soft brush, I can run it down to whatever I want. You know, I, I've got a good graphic feedback of the brush size right in front of me. And then I can hold down Control, Option, Shift, and then size the brush to whatever I need. The other thing I want to go over is levels. I live by levels. I apply levels to just about everything. And um, so I'd like to explain a little bit about how I approach levels. Now what you get when you open up the levels adjustment tool is a histogram. And depending on which color model you're in, it'll tell you, you know, right now I'm in the RGB color model. And uh, this is the histogram for all the data in the image. And you can switch between the channels. Like this would be the red, green, and blue. You've got four different histograms here that you can work with. So in general, when I want to uh, clean up an image, uh, this, you know, this image that we're looking at right now, it's, it's pretty good, it's clear, it's in focus, you know, this main point of interest here is all in focus, and it's, this is not a bad picture. But just about everything can be improved, especially from a digital camera. And you'll see we have the space out here for the white point. There's just nothing here for all this distance in the white point. So if we pull this in just to the edge here, then that intensifies this image a little bit. And we can pull this in and we can deepen the background a little bit to give it a little bit better balance. And I'll pull it into about here. And for the midtones, you can lighten it up and you can darken it up and you can do all kinds of wonderful things. And I can move it right about here. And I just like how this image looks now. So how did I come to that? Well, in the histogram, you'll see you've got these little bumps and valleys here. And I find that if you move your adjustment points to peaks or valleys, or wherever you can find little accent points, like right about there, and pull this back you get pretty much the best positions available to pick it eliminates a lot of the guesswork it just always seems to work out this way you find your peaks and your valleys and you line up your points and everything just looks wonderful um, another thing you can do is use uh, these color pickers here. Let's reset this. Uh, find a black point, like right in here. Find a white point, mm, right there. And find a good mid-tone value. And there's a nice little gray nearly gray right here and 
Yeah, I'll do justice a little bit. Alright. Not bad. The other thing you can do is just hit the auto button. And you'll notice uh, the program almost does the same thing. It lines these up pretty much close to where the peaks and valleys are. Uh, let's start here. Let's start here. This is the closest valley. Uh, these operations have been on the overall image, but as I said before, we can use any channel individually. So if I go in here, I can adjust the blues, adjust the blues, intensify them up. There's a nice little peak right there. I'll line that up. There's a peak here. I'll line that up. There's a valley here. I lined that up. Now I go into the green. Do basically the same thing. Come in. Bring this in. Nearest peak. And the red. Bring this in. Bring this in. Nearest valley. So. The original looks really dull and flat compared to the enhancement that we've applied here. And how I pick levels is usually based on these little peaks and valleys in the histogram. And uh, you can do some amazing things. The other thing too is you can change the output levels here. And in some instances this is very useful, especially if you're working with a mask. And I'll get into that more later. So I just wanted to go over the levels here a little bit and before I go into, um, let's see, this image.